Josh, welcome to the LeanPub launch video for Python test automation, the scenic route. I was wondering if you could please talk to us a little bit about yourself and about uh, your book and who it's for. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Len. Thank you for having me on here. That's it's, uh, it's great. Um, so yeah, uh, so Python, uh, Python test automation, the, yeah, the scenic route. So this is a book uh, I've been kind of working on a little while. Uh, it's some, some of my old blog posts on test automation with Python. Uh, so that's what I do as a living. I'm a test automation specialist. Uh, I've been doing that for over a decade now. It's, it's pretty good. And Python is my favorite programming language. So um, I collected some of my blog posts, uh, put them together, um, and hopefully it's a good book people really enjoy. Yeah, um, uh, the, the the blog that you're mentioning, by the way, is I've got a great name, simply the test um, on <laughs> dot tumblr dot dot com, uh, which is really good. Um, and uh, yeah, so for anyone watching this who's sort of like maybe getting into programming or something like that, and like maybe they're getting into data science and they've heard about Python. What is what actually is testing and what is test automation? Yeah, so so testing. So if so, let's say you write some code in Python, uh, and yeah, data science. Like you might write uh, some code to analyze some data or clean some data. Maybe you have a web application. You know, yeah, it's like a website for your dog or something. Um, you might want to test to make sure these things work. You might want to make sure, like, does this code I wrote do what I think it does? Um, you know, I made a change. Did it break anything? Uh, so that's where you you can use test automation. Uh, and so Python's a great choice for test automation. There's a lot of good tools there um, for all sorts of things. Uh, and I've kind of seen mo a lot of it um, over my career. So uh, I thought I'd write about it. Um, it's a great way. To, uh, test automation is a really good way if you're a novice programmer, and you're kind of new uh, to try out how things work. Um, you can run code. If it breaks, that's fine. That's the way tests are supposed to work. Um, so yeah, it's a good introduction, uh, whether you're a new programmer <laughs> in Python, um, or, or if you're experienced, you just want to learn more and maybe you don't know much about testing. Uh, it's a good introduction to it. I think. And if let's say, let's say, take things from the other perspective, let's say I own a small business and I'm thinking of hiring, hiring some programmers to do some programming for me. Um, mm -hmm. and one of them's like, ah, we should build in testing. And I'm like, hold on a second. That sounds like it's going to slow me down. Um, what would you say to me if I were that, that kind of person? Uh, I would say uh, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Um, so you might think it's going to slow you down. And if you think that you probably need some slowing down, you want to take some time, do things right. Um, you know, some testing can really help uh, make sure things work the way you think they do. Um, I had an old boss who uh, he would say uh, he hired me to, to be a test person. And he said, I like to sleep. I don't want um, things to break in the middle of the night. And so that that's why we test. That's why we take things seriously. Um, so yeah, that's a, a good reason to test your stuff. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a sort of a sort of, you know, as it were, age old debate kind of thing. Um, you know, how many, but, and, and it goes in this, this kind of thing, like, you know, when we think about coding, we sort of get in a certain headspace because computers are involved. But like, mm -hmm. if you're making a um, an assembly line in a factory, you definitely want to have some tests built in. Um, yeah. So the factory line, the, the the line doesn't break down in in the middle of the night or at any time of day. And often, I think because because kind of like code is seems ethereal to people, they kind of mm -hmm. actually feel like they don't need to apply the same kind of rigor to it that they would to it, and as it were, physical process. And sometimes convincing people actually, no, 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 like your your app is actually just like an assembly and always on assembly line, just like you don't want those things to ever fail, and you want like you know, alarms going off if they do same thing with your code. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like if, um, like exactly like, uh, web applications or any kind of application, like it's used all the time. Um, things break. Uh, yeah. Software is exactly like physical things, like things break, um, assembly lines, uh, you know, parts break, you know, robots break down. Um, what's going to happen? Is the whole thing going to explode or like, is there, you know, do you know ahead of time how things can act? So yeah, yeah, it's a really good point. Yeah, that's great. And you said, uh, you said, uh, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And that, that's a great, that's a great saying, uh, it really captures the, the sort of like there's, there's steps along the way. You're not just going to get there. Uh, but you take your time to do things well and smartly, then you'll have a fast kind of, um, uh, you know, kind of trustworthy app or website or whatever it is at the end. Uh, well, just, um, the book is Python test automation, the scenic route. Thank you very much for writing the book and for putting it up on LeanPub and for taking the time to do this launch video today. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much, Len. Um, yeah, happy to be here. Thanks.